today, an Italian restaurant in Edmond with an interesting twist, art that fits on a public display and drum ride, and pickles from the coma that you'll want to pucker up for. Travel with Triple A's Discover Oklahoma. Hi and welcome to Triple A's Discover Oklahoma. I'm Jennifer Reynolds and we're coming to you this week from Gourmet Gallery just outside North Park Mall in Oklahoma City. And if it looks like there's a party going on behind us, that's because there is. Gourmet Gallery is celebrating 10 years in business with a big Made in Oklahoma product tasting and I guarantee you can find something here made in our state that's delicious and unexpected. But right now we're going to head up to Edmond where Ardino Lolly has found a location that's also taste bud friendly and has some surprises of its own. There are a lot of places in Oklahoma where you can find a good pizza. There's a smaller number of establishments where you can find excellent pizza. But where can you find excellent pizza and all kinds of fantastic food and combine that with the art of blowing glass? Well, it's actually right here in Edmond, and it's called Italian Gems. Open since March of 1996, this is their new location. They've done wonders with this older building that used to look like this. Now take a look at it. Italian Gems keeps knocking them out of the ballpark. CEO Chris McGahan. For 15 years, all we had was pizza, pasta, and a few sandwiches. But our goal, shortly after opening, was always to have a more upscale environment. And something else they've always had was a very loyal return customer base and great word of mouth advertising. And their business has continued to grow. Their signature dishes have always been their pizza, with the top one being pepperoni. It's insanely covered and layered with those little slices of heaven. If you are a pepperoni nut, that's what you want. And uh, our supreme pizzas are signature items because they're decorated, they're beautiful. Our meat combos are the same way. Um, our meatball subs. Now, of course, we've taken it quite a bit more upscale. Uh, the filet is phenomenal. We have uh, cedar plank salmon. All that, man, it's all, as my dad would say, it's all good and gooder. <laughs> just for the record, my personal favorite is the lasagna. And the desserts are just as exquisite as the main courses. Now, all the work in the kitchen is led by Chef Stephen Gooding, who is from the UK and used to work at Buckingham Palace. To Chris, making delicious food like this is art. And now he can make two different kinds of art. His wife gave him glass blowing lessons as a birthday gift in 2004. And today, here you can eat great Italian food and watch beautiful glass creations being made right next door. Glass blowing is an Italian art. And I thought, we serve Italian food. I could combine the two and people could come in and get entertainment. They could be entertained and watch us create Italian art while they're eating Italian food. Chris's son Micah helps him in this heated adventure where the temperatures can reach 150 degrees. Watching them is like a ballet of twisting and turning, maneuvering, working quickly, as the glass can be unforgiving. It takes perseverance because needless to say, it's hot, and you've got to break a lot of glass sometimes to get it right. But the end results are simply beautiful. It's got a long curve to be able to learn to blow glass. I don't think there's anybody that starts and in two, three weeks they're really good. I don't think that is possible. Bella Forte Glass Studio is the name of the place. Bella in Italian means beautiful. Forte has two meanings. In music, it means loud, and the other is strength. So Bella Forte Glass Studio is beautiful glass that is loud in color and strong in design. And, uh, and, and that's one of the things that we've found in our, even our pizzas when we started 15 years ago, they're not most like our Supreme, our Meat Combo, our Super Pepperoni, our Signature Pizzas, they don't look like everybody else's pizzas that have those same ingredients. They're different. This is all a family operation, and Chris's wife told him people eat with their eyes, and with the beautiful glass, people respond to that beauty, and they respond to the beauty on the plate. And at Italian Gems, that's what you'll get every time, beauty and delicious food with a wonderful environment. In Edmond at Italian Gems, I'm Dean O'Lally. Well, that's a great combination, a feast for the stomach and for the eyes. Of course, art can take all kinds of forms. In the town of Drumright, they've put their own unique twist on things by turning the town into sort of an outdoor art gallery. Our Adam Beatty, who loves both art and history, says this is a town that embraces both. 
What's up, Oklahomies? This is Adam Beatty back with you, bringing you to Drumright, Oklahoma, another small town that's got some really big history. The main difference between Drumright and other places is that Drumright's history is painted all over their walls. We met with woman about town, Jimmy Cook, to take a visual tour of Drumright's history. Hey, how many murals do we have in Drumright total? We have a total of 12. Back in 1990, I decided I wanted a mural that would have the history of Drumright permanently in it. And so we've moved along at that pace until now we have 12. And we also have a mosaic. And uh, so each one of them has a page, it's like a page out of the history of Drumright at that time. Where should we begin? What's, what's your favorite? Well, it's the murals. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, they're all my favorites. They aren't in any certain order. It's just whenever I could raise the money for them. But people have always been generous. When a woman my age finds someone come up with some money in their pocket, you know, you get busy. We have one that is, um, it's, it's more, it's a mosaic, really. And it's uh, the Catholic Church. It had every member, about 76 of them, each one, to take little chips. And then after it's finished, they built a big frame out front and put this in it, and it's beautiful. It's the Madonna of the streets. What about the one right behind you? One behind you over there. Mm -hmm. uh, that was done in the Depression days when there was no food, nobody had jobs, and, and the town had dropped considerably. And so three businessmen said, we have to do something about this. We have to do something for the kids. So the men went to the lumberyard and borrowed boards and made benches, and they put up a makeshift stage. Well, a thousand persons showed up that first night so they added some more benches, and every Thursday night, they would have more and more. Bring a blanket and bring a chair, whatever they could, watch this free show. The next mural is a veritable education of Drumright's history as an oil boom town in the early 20th century. So that has a little bit of everything in it, a shotgun house. It has a, a ball tank. It has um, so many things that are typical of an oil town. We're grateful to the oil companies because they were our sustenance. Mm -hmm. they, they were what made this a town. Yeah. And they still is oil here, but it's um, not anything like it was. Yeah. Everything was oil oriented. We could spend multiple episodes chronicling the history of Drumright with Jimmy. But if you're interested in taking a tour of this wonderful town's murals, contact the Chamber of Commerce at the number below, and they can put you in contact with her. In Drumright, Oklahoma, I'm Adam Beatty. Well, don't go away because I hope you'll share it with me as I sacrifice for the cause this week by sampling my way through the gourmet gallery made in Oklahoma product tasting. We'll just call it Taste Bud Tourism, so get ready to satisfy your cravings when AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues. I hope we didn't forget anything. No, I think we're all set. Hard to believe Megan is in college. Do you remember how she cried and cried when we dropped her off at kindergarten? We were both crying. It's a good thing we're only a few hours away. Last box. You can call us tomorrow. I will, Daddy. And one more thing. You're going to need these. No way. Are you kidding? <laughs> Can I get Mom's car? Okay, sweetheart, but you have to be careful. Now, I put the AAA insurance policy and the membership information in the glove box. Just in case anything should happen. <laughs> okay. I'm really glad we switched our auto insurance to AAA. It really saved us some money. Not to mention peace of mind. It's nice knowing AAA will be there if a car ever breaks down, too. John, are those tears I see? No. Aww. AAA Auto Insurance. For the ones that matter most to you. Give us a call today or talk to a AAA agent nearest you. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from the Gourmet Gallery's North Park, Oklahoma City location, where they're having the big 10th anniversary Made in Oklahoma tasting. And you may think that you're not into gourmet food, but we're going to go try some of this stuff, and I'm thinking you're going to change your mind. It's hard to believe how many great products come out of our little state. Some have a long history, like Lovera's, the classic Italian restaurant in Krebs. You don't have to make that drive to Krebs to enjoy the family recipes anymore because they're bottled up and ready for you to cook in your own kitchen. All right, so this is the vodka cream sauce. Oh my gosh. See, one's already sold. <laughs> or Herman's Slaw, a classic recipe from a landmark Oklahoma City restaurant. That's good. But there are also some relatively new endeavors like the Cheese Factory in Kingfisher turning out some delicious handcrafted cheeses with super fresh ingredients. Oh, that's really good. You have to try some. Hold on. Let me get you one. Here you go. Ready? Okay. 
Yes or no? Yeah. <laughs> In this Discover Oklahoma shoot, I made lots of exciting new discoveries like wine jelly on pork chops. We, we make uh, jelly out of the, uh, the wines from the local uh, wholesalers and some of the local vineyards as well. It's, it's what my son says, you get a little bit of bite without the bark. And Rita Rims, pre-dipped drink cups. Unless you bite it off, it's going to last <laughs> two to three drinks. Hmm. That is cool. You're right, you do want to just bite it off of there. It's hard not to. I'll just want to bite it off. <laughs> that is cool. I like that. I learned salsas not just for tomatoes anymore from the good folks at Shooting Star. Oh man, that's really different. Sweet at first, mm -hmm. sweet a little. You get a little heat on the end. Had a little kick. That is good. That's good. Learned the difference between a little kick and an outright blaze from the Prairie Gypsies and their hunk of burning love dip. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. I found out Ziegelmeyer's toasted pecan butter tastes good on practically everything. Here's the salmon. Mm. Sure, thank mm -hmm. you. That really is good. I learned photographer Walt Cox is trying to kill me, recommending I go with the hot version of Eagle Rub Barbecue. Walt is hoping it causes some sort of reaction that he can get on for the Facebook page. Mm. That is really good. Most of all, I discovered that as a food reviewer, I am wildly short of the proper adjectives. That really is good. That is really good. That's good. That is really good. Guess I'll have to work on that. A couple of Christmases ago, Shell Wagner gave everybody on the Discover Oklahoma crew a jar of Jen's spicy sweet garlic dill pickles. And we've since voted them the best pickles in the universe. And Shell loves them so much, she would name a child after them if she were going to have any more. She decided she would go track down the real Jen in her hometown of Tacoma and find out the details behind this delicacy. I have discovered the secret power for affecting change, for motivating others and moving mountains. The key this little pickle. Once folks taste them, they'll do almost anything to get their hands on more. They are that addicting. We hear the funniest messages on our answering machine. I've got to have some more pickles. My children came to my house. They stole them all. I don't, I, had to, I have to hide them or they take them all. We, it's, the, it's so funny. The popularity of Jan's Pickles has spawned many imitators, so you'll want to look for the words Imie's Dream on the label to know you're getting the real deal. We named that after my Aunt Imogene because the base of the recipe was hers. Jan tweaked her Aunt Imie's recipe until she had created what many refer to as the perfect pickle. So I started giving them as gifts, making them and giving them as gifts, or taking them if we had a party or something to go to, and people just kept saying, you should make these and sell them. So Jan and her husband Glenn took the advice to heart and began spending all their time making pickles in a former school cafeteria near their home in Tacoma. And that worked for a little while. The two of us could do that. And then he got uh, someone to help him. And then he got someone else to help him. It, it built until we had six people working for us. But we couldn't keep up with the demand, even with our six employees. And Glenn came to me and said, Jan, we've got to rethink this. Now Jan's garlic dills, sweet garlic dills, spicy garlic dills, and spicy sweet garlic dills are made by Oklahoma City co-packer S&S Foods with the same care and quality as that first jar Jan made all those years ago. We ship them all over the United States. We have not advertised one penny. Um, it's amazing. So if Jan's beloved Aunt Imi were here today, what do you imagine she would think about the unexpected power of the pickle? She would get a hoot out of this. She would just think it was awesome. In Tacoma, and now Oklahoma City, I'm Shell Wagner. You can find a listing of retailers that carry Jan's pickles on the Jan's website, or you can place your order on their site if you choose, and we'll link you to it from discoveroklahomatv.com. Well, don't do any channel hopping just yet, because when we come back, we're going to treat you to some award-winning Oklahoma barbecue. Nothing satisfies Oklahoma palates like barbecue, and Ponca City is home to a world-famous barbecue empire. And we'll take you there when AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues. Hey, how's Kara doing? Great. Absolutely loves being in college. And Sam? 
Just started driving. Mm, watch out. Yeah, we just added him to our AAA membership. Smart move. I'm just glad we have good insurance. What do you guys use? We switched over to AAA auto insurance. With another driver in the house, it just made sense to check out pricing. AAA saved us a ton. I didn't know they had insurance, too. Yeah, auto home and life. Remember that time when we snuck Dad's car out and got that flat? Here they go again. Triple A came and fixed it, and the folks never found out. Found out what? Nothing, Dad. Talking about the time you two snuck the car out while we were gone. You, you knew? knew? Well, of course. Why do you think Mom and I added you girls to our Triple A membership? Never told you I always checked the odometer, did I? Oh, great idea. Thanks, Grandpa. Triple A Insurance, for the ones that matter most to you. Give us a call today or talk to a Triple A agent nearest you. Welcome back to Triple A's Discover Oklahoma. In our state, barbecue isn't a food, it's really an obsession. It's hard to even say the word barbecue without your mouth starting to water just a little bit. Our show Wagner actually infiltrated the inner sanctum of Oklahoma's unofficial barbecue capital in Ponca City. There's no big splashy sign pointing the way, but believe me, you'll know when you've arrived at Head Country Barbecue. Mm, I really wish we had smell-o-vision because the aromas in here are like heaven. Smells of fresh, rich ingredients melding together to make that famous sauce. Paul Shoddy and Danny Head co-own Head Country Food Products, a company that sprung from the fabulous barbecue recipe that Danny's uncle came up with back in 1947. It's tough to imagine that this sprawling, highly automated operation is making the same exact barbecue sauce that was invented on a stove in Shidler, Oklahoma, but it is. Danny and I made a conscious decision several years ago that we would never change the recipe. And there seems no reason to change it. Get a load of the Grand Champion banners, all from prestigious barbecuing competitions that grace the rafters. Mm-hmm, these guys know a bit about barbecue. Growing demand for their products has led to a near perpetual expansion of their Ponca City plant. And we've added on three times to the original building. This was our first add-on. Towers of ingredients, elbow for space. Last year, uh, we used over a million and a half pounds of brown sugar. We used right at three and a half million pounds of ketchup. As the building has grown, so has the product line. We have uh, three flavors of barbecue sauce. The original, a smoky, which is a little less sweet than the original, and then we have a spicy or a hot flavor. And then in addition to those three barbecue sauces, we have a dry rub seasoning that is very, very popular. We have a marinade that is uh, good not just on barbecuing or grilling meats, but you can also use it in other uh, dishes as well. And then we have our new product is a salsa. Their slogan, One Taste Will Hook Ya, is not an exaggeration. A full 65% of Oklahomans who buy barbecue sauce now reach for head country. And the demand from folks overseas is starting to pick up speed as well. Some of today's batch of more than 5,000 bottles might be on their way to Sweden, Denmark, Norway, or Spain. But before you get all sentimental, understand that your group is welcome to swing in and see them before they go. People are encouraged to put Head Country food products on their tour list. Come by for a tour, uh, and more than likely you're going to go home with something too. More than just knowledge about the company, but a little gift to go along with it. How's that for a sweet deal, huh? But wait, there's more. Just down the road, dive a little deeper into this experience at Head Country's full-blown barbecue restaurant, serving perfectly savory meats, all sporting those famous flavors. Round out your meal with some fresh sides, and trust me, you will be tempted to permanently change your address to Head Country, USA. In Ponca City, I'm Shell Wagner. Up next, it's time to hike off some of these calories we've put on in the last few minutes. We're going to head out to Oklahoma's ancient forest. This swamp of cross timber is like a real-life time machine, and we'll take you there when AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues. Thanks for all your help. Hey, babe, what you doing? Oh, I just switched our insurance over to AAA. Why? We've been with our guys for years. 
I know, but I met with the agent and she showed me how AAA could match our coverage and save us money by bundling our home and auto insurance. Really? Well, did we get a discount? I mean, we've been with those guys for years. Yes, and with the extra money we saved, I was thinking we could take that second honeymoon we've always talked about. Hey, I'm all about that. So, with all the travel discounts we get for being AAA Oklahoma members... Well, I do have some vacation time I need to take. Oh, good, because our room is right on the ocean. You already booked it. I did? What are you guys up to? Nothing. We're just getting some dinner started. When are you leaving? AAA Insurance, for the ones that matter most to you. Give us a call today or talk to a AAA agent nearest you. Welcome back. AAA Oklahoma does a lot of great things around our state and makes this show possible. Here's a look at today's AAA. Hello, Chuck May here with AAA Oklahoma. When you hear the name AAA, many of you probably think about roadside service or booking your next vacation through AAA Travel. But did you know that AAA Insurance is the fastest growing auto and home insurance company in Oklahoma? It's true. AAA Insurance offers a wide variety of discounts which allow us to offer competitive premiums along with thorough insurance coverage to our customers. In addition, AAA has 41 insurance offices across the state of Oklahoma to make it easy and convenient to do business with us. Call us or go to AAA.com to get a free auto or home insurance quote. And while you're at it, ask us about life insurance too. Our reputation for quality customer service is unmatched and you are back with a name you know and trust. Until next time, may the road lead you to exciting new discoveries. Whether it's insurance, travel, or peace of mind on the road, think AAA every day. AAA, for the ones who matter most to you. Our show this week is all about Oklahoma's own unique features, and we can't ignore Oklahoma's diverse terrain. 11 distinct eco-regions really has surprised a lot of first-time visitors. Among those is the broad swath of ancient trees known as the cross timber. The 1,300 acres of the Keystone Ancient Forest run along the shore of Keystone Lake, protected for years by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers property and by private landowners who recognized the worth of this stand of trees. Hiking trails run through the forest now, maintained by the city of Sand Springs. Visitors can hike the trails with volunteer guides who will share the history of this natural treasure. Our volunteers are retired geologists. Some of them are naturalists. They can help you find scarlet tanagers and buntings and some of the migratory birds that, yes, they do use Oklahoma as their flyway in the summertime. So this is still a very wild place to experience, although it's not dangerous. The Keystone Ancient Forest is one of the last and certainly one of the largest remnants of the cross timber, what was once a nearly impenetrable forest belt that guarded the land we now call Oklahoma, whose value is in its antiquity. Don't miss the upcoming Oklahoma State Sugar Arts Show. Our Jeff Roberts is a big fan of the Tulsa visionary who started it all. I saw no sense of urgency. You don't pull on a cake that you've never done before. She's the judge everybody loves to hate and you've seen her rip competitors on Food Network Challenge and The Last Cake Standing. Carrie Vincent grew up in Australia and has lived all over the world, but eventually she landed in Oklahoma and stuck. I wouldn't live here if I didn't like the state, and I can be anywhere I want to be. So for me, yeah, um, Oklahoma's a great state. And though to cake aficionados, it seemed an unlikely venue, but Carrie chose Tulsa to be the home of her sugar arts show. She co-founded the show in 1993 and has since grown it to be the largest show of its kind in the entire United States and second in the world. I'd say that places Oklahoma firmly on the map of cake design. One would think cake, as far as perfection is concerned, would be driven by what happens in New York and what happens in Los Angeles and other places, when in fact it's very seriously uh, respected that Oklahoma shows the rest of the country where to go when it comes to cake. Magazine editors frequent the show to find the talented cake designers who will fill their issues. You do not want to miss this year's Sugar Art Show and the Grand National Wedding Cake Competition. It's taking place at the Tulsa Fairgrounds October 1st and 2nd. In fact, we'll link you to all the info at discoveroklahoma.com. In Tulsa, I'm Jeff Roberts. Well, thanks to you for watching us. We hope you've enjoyed our look at Oklahoma's own. And thanks to the folks at the Gourmet Gallery for hosting us. Here's what's coming up next week.
We'll preview the newest edition of Oklahoma Today magazine with a tribute to Oklahoma's country music roots. Plus, we'll celebrate Hee Haw's Oklahoma Ties. Hope you'll join us. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover and eat in Oklahoma.